Morning YouTube. I've just started phase two of the uh, mini wash plant project. I've got it mocked up here on uh, on a five gallon bucket and and on the milk crate on the other side. Uh, I'm using my La Trap sluice as the, uh, the sluice for under the, the wash plant. And I didn't have, uh, obviously have this, the sluice set up so I had to build this closing plate on the back for the Latrap sluice, which I did yesterday. And uh, so what I'm doing here, I'm trying to figure what and where to put legs on this uh, wash plant. So if you've seen any of my other videos, you know uh, what these are. The, I, I started making this up yesterday, and uh, these will be the... Uh, the sockets for the legs and uh, because everything's aluminum there and uh, these are steel this is what I'm going to do I've got a 3 8 nut welded to a 3 quarter square tube and this is a 2 by 1 and a half inch, one and a half inch plate which I'm going to uh, weld these two then have four holes in the corners and uh, rivet those to the side of the box so I made the four plates, made the four sockets with the nuts on them and then to do the handles uh, these were carriage bolts and uh, well here's the heads yeah uh, that I just cut the heads off and I took some 3 8 round rod here and what we'll do is we'll take these and we'll weld them on like so, and then I'm going to have a T-handle. I've made these many times and uh, they work really, really good. And uh, one thing that happens when you do the sockets and you weld the nut to it is uh, a lot of times the threads get a little goobered up, so obviously that's what the tap is here for. So I had, uh, just chased all the threads on all four of the sockets. And that's about where we stand now. All right, so we got about another hour <coughs> in building the, the sockets and uh, getting ready to uh, powder coat these now. The socket, you'll see there's four of them, so there'll be two on the front, two on the back. Uh, if you look here at this one, this is a, a 14 gauge, I'm sorry, this is 10 gauge strap. This is three quarter square tube. Uh, 063 wall if I remember right. Uh, then uh, it's a 3 8 nut welded here. Uh, I drilled a hole first, a 3 8 hole, and then welded the nut onto the 3 quarter tube. Then I showed you the, the bolts that we had cut before, but uh, what we've got here is the, uh, the actual T handle and uh, welded the, uh, the 3 8 threaded portion of that uh, carriage bolt to some 3 8 rod. So now we've got 3 8 T-handles uh, that we're going to use to hold the legs on this thing. And as an example, I just did one here real quick. Uh, this is the 3 8 uh, socket. I'm sorry, it's the 3 8 uh, T-handles. And uh, this is will be like the leg, and you get it set where you want it, tighten it down, and there it is. I mean, it's it is not coming out of there uh, because it's three eighths. You can get a real good torque on it, and because of the welding on it, you know these are just tacks, but they're big tacks. Uh, even on not they're big tacks, but and it's kind of tricky because you don't want to burn through into the threads, but you want a good solid tack on it. So. There it is. There's uh, what the legs are going to look like. I haven't produced the legs yet. I've got measurements for them. I just run out of time today. But I do have four sockets and four T-handles that are just now ready to go in the powder coat oven. Uh, well, maybe tomorrow morning. So there it is for today. Uh, we're going to move on to other things. All right, we got the uh, parts for the, for the legs all the sockets and uh, the T-handles in the spray booth and I'm going to powder coat these this morning 
they all look really good. I uh, think they'll take the potter real well. And I'll show you when they're done. Okay, here we are. The, uh, the sockets are all ready uh, to be put in the oven and get uh, cured out. And then I'll show you what they look like when they actually come out of the oven. Because they won't be flat like this. They'll be a, a shiny textured uh, black powder coat. You can't hear me well, it's because i got a, a face mask and a hood on, so... Anyhow, we'll be back. Okay, so here's the finished product. They all came out really good, and front and back. You notice they're really good on both sides. And now they're shiny. So there they are. Uh, now they're ready to be installed, except for uh, when you powder coat these holes. Here, uh, close up with the potter so you get a ream on just a little bit for the pop rivets. But other than that, we're good to go. Okay, I've got some half inch square tube here, and I just cut it. It's, uh, it's been in the shop for probably 10 years. I was going to build an automatic gate and uh, never got to it, so I've got a different gate up, so it doesn't matter now. But these are the, these are the fronts, these are uh, 22 inch. And these are the rears, and they're going to be 36 inch. And I'll put feet on them, and I might need outriggers on these rears uh, because they're so long. I might need more, a little bit more uh, lateral support on them. So we'll see. Okay, here's all the legs. They're all uh, have uh, feet on them now, and I hit them on the wire wheel just to buff off some of the rust and the grease. So next step is to get them mounted to the box and uh, put the sockets on first and then go from there. Alright, so you can see the bucket's gone. Front legs are on. And uh, looks pretty good. Rear legs are on. I've got a slight problem. So I thought I'd be all done for today and maybe check out these nozzles, but uh, the problem is, and I suspected it, that's why I said it might need outriggers, is this. Uh, she's got a lot of whip to her if you're throwing dirt on this, so that would really cause you some grief. So I'm going to look at putting some outriggers on it and uh, see what happens. Alright, I still have quite a bit of uh, slop in this uh, box, uh, so I've made a couple changes. I'm actually trying to stay away from outriggers because I think it'll be a trip hazard and be in the way all the time. So what I've done on these rear legs is I've uh, kind of sprung them out to the side a little bit uh, and I'm going to make some kind of an adjustable bar here at the bottom as you can see with these clamps. You know, Alan Robertson does this all the time on his, his stuff and I see why. It's uh, it's much easier to just clamp this stuff and try it before you actually go ahead and do things with it. But, uh, you know, so that's one of the changes I'm going to make. And I'm not, I haven't figured out exactly how I want to do I'm going to make this uh, removable so I can, uh, so I can take it off and when I, if I want to pull the legs to move it. The other thing I've done uh, that made it a lot better is right here. I've installed this spring clamp and it hooks to the box itself and to the sluice here and it's taken quite a bit of the slop out of here as you can see it hardly wiggles at all there but up on this end if you shake the back I mean it, it gives it the jiggle so my thought is and I haven't quite decided if I'm going to do this or not. I want to make another set of legs. And right about where that bar is laying, where you come out of where the spray bars are, the spray nozzles, you can see the bar laying here. Uh, right about there, I'd like to put another set of legs. And uh, that box is 10 inches wide right there, and I think I'm going to move these out about five inches more on each side and uh, uh, we'll try that and see if that'll give me some lateral stability here where it isn't quite so 
crazy on me. I've, I've experimented with more clamps uh, here, and the problem is with these clamps here. If I if I fasten these to the box, and I want to change the elevation of the sluice, I can't do it because it'll be fastened here. Then the 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 bracket will pull away from the sluice. Or if I raise it, it'll raise the sluice. And I don't want that to happen. So these were my first thought to give it some stability, but I think that's not going to work. So I'll keep you posted on uh, the whole procedure. All right, I believe we got phase two done. Uh, so, uh, you know, we have the front legs that are adjustable. And the rear legs, I've got those spread now. I don't know if you can see that real well here, but yeah, yeah there it is. You can see they're kicked out and I've got a cross brace in it. They're just held with a, uh, with a clamp right now. But uh, as I showed you in the last clip, I put this uh, latch affair in here, the spring latch. And that made a lot of difference. It took a, a lot of the shake out and it's hooked to the sluice. So that made a huge improvement. And what I've done now are these. I've uh, gone with three quarter inch square tube 063 wall. And to make a leg out of that you use uh, one inch square tube I believe this is old eight wall here for the for the socket. But the T handles made the same. Three eighths rod, three eighths bolt, three eighths nut uh, welded to the socket. Uh, what's different is I didn't attach the sockets to the side of this box like I did here. These are attached to another piece of three quarter. It goes totally underneath, and we got a leg on each side. And this is pop riveted uh, with an air riveter one, two, three, four, five, six times. So it's uh, really solid. It's taken all the wiggle out of it here, just about. I mean, it, it shakes a little bit, uh, but I'm going to try to get some material into it and uh, see how it does with water running through it and see how much that whip is, is still there. I mean there's going to be a little bit because it's, it's really light aluminum for one thing, but uh, we're going to try it and see what happens. So this is going to be it for phase two. Uh, like I said, I used the air riveter to uh, and that's all it does. You pull the trigger and, and put the rivets in. I've had it when I built my powder, powder coat oven, but anyhow, uh, that's it for this phase. So I'm going to uh, ship it as it is, and uh, the next one will be setting up the nozzles and getting them ready to spray and the test. So thanks for watching. Share and subscribe. Bye.